Totem Latimat is a Totemat carving um, that presents us with ideas about the kinship between all species that encourage us to think about our connections um, with other, other species, especially now that we're faced with massive climate change and other ecological disruptions. The totem was carved by a Mexican multimedia artist in the state of Veracruz, Mexico, and um, has been brought to Britain on a ship, so not flown, and then it's going to end up at the Crichton in Dumfries, where it's going to be allowed to lie down and slowly rot away, rather than becoming a museum or heritage piece. So it's going to take all the carbon it's been trapping in its life as a tree back into the earth. So it's very ecological. The totem was commissioned by Border Crossings Origins Festival specifically to take a message from indigenous people to COP26 about the urgency of dealing with climate change and other ecological disasters on the understanding that indigenous people are often on the front line of these changes. Um, so, it's, um, so it's an important message that also says um, it's not just about the depressing news of disaster, but the, the encouraging thing that we should celebrate our relations with the larger than human community. Um, I'm Michael Wallin, I'm the director of the Origins Festival. It was towards the end of last winter that I first realized we had to do something extraordinary and different this year. Because our festival normally takes place in the middle of the summer for two weeks in London, and we bring indigenous people from all around the world, and we felt, oh yes, this year it's going to be really important because we've got COP, and oh no, we can't do it because we've got COVID. And so after thinking very carefully, I contacted my great friend Solomon Bazbaz Lapidus at the Center for Indigenous Arts and Culture in Papantla in the state of Veracruz in Mexico and said, is there someone who could create a totem that talks about indigenous views of ecology and environmentalism? And he said, you need to meet the Leonardo da Vinci of the Totonac, whose name is Juan Tiburcio. And Juan created Totem Latimat. Its journey has been very extraordinary and has been marked all the way by ceremony. And as we welcome the totem into our land and our landscapes, into our community, we do receive, or I hope, we receive that hummingbird message into our hearts. And we hope that the totem's story and the totem's journey will inspire us, will inspire all of us. And our job as the hummingbirds is to carry that inspiration, to share it wider, to make sure that other people hear, hear a story of change. So Totem Latimat may our dreamers, our thinkers, our talkers, our singers, our storytellers, our warriors, our poets, our grandmothers, our grandchildren, all our people, each of our people. May all our folk be inspired by you. The totem is here to inspire us and to challenge us. And the totem came to us as a gift. And again, as Michael said, not as something that's going to stand in a gallery or in a sculpture park for years and years. The totem came to deliver the hummingbird message, to offer the eagles challenge, and to send us out with those in our hearts. So right from the beginning, Hun, the artist who made it, said that when this was done, when the message had been delivered, the totem should be given to the earth beneath our feet. So what we're going to do now is lie her down. She's going to rest on the earth of the Crichton. She's going to be here. She's not going to disappear. She's going to be here. You can become the weary travellers that rest on her. 
that lie against her that come perhaps and tell her story to someone else. We probably need a drum roll, but you might want just to record. Thank you. Thank you. We're not quite done. It's final moments now. But now, Totem Latimat is here. And here the totem will stay. And here, over the years, the totem will be grown over by flowers. There will be little colonies of ants hiding in her somewhere. It would be really exciting if you found that bumblebees were nesting in his crown. We don't know what's going to happen. We just know the totem will stay and slowly bring Mexico here to the Crichton. <laughs>